Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the Norton's equivalent resistance which is seen across the terminal A and B. Now here, since the circuit contains both independent as well as the dependent source, so to find the Norton's equivalent resistance, first of all we will find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage which is seen across these two terminals A and B and then after we will find the short circuit current. And the ratio of this Thevenin's equivalent voltage to this short circuit current will give us the Norton's equivalent resistance. So first of all, let us find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage which is seen across these two terminals A and B. So if you observe over here, then there are two loops. And let's say the current in these two loops are I1 and I2 respectively. So here, this Thevenin's equivalent voltage is the summation of the voltage across this dependent current source as well as the Vx. Let's say the voltage across this dependent current source is equal to Vt. That means this Vth is equal to Vx plus Vt. Now here, this current I2 is equal to 2 ampere. That means this Vx is equal to 2 times I2. That is equal to 4 volt. So now, we need to find this voltage Vt. So if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can write Vt plus 15 times I1 minus I2 plus 5 times I1 that is equal to 0. That means Vt is equal to minus 15 times I1 plus 15 times I2 minus 5 times I1 that is equal to minus 20 times I1 plus 15 times I2. Now here this current I1 is equal to minus 3 times Vx that is equal to minus 3 times 4 volt that means current I1 is equal to minus 12 ampere that means here this voltage Vt is equal to minus 20 times I1 that is minus 20 times minus 12 ampere plus 15 times I2 that is 15 times 2 ampere that means this voltage Vt is equal to 270 volt and therefore we can say that this voltage Vth is equal to Vt plus Vx that is 270 volt plus 4 volt. That means Thevenin's equivalent voltage which is seen across this two terminal is equal to 274 volt. So similarly now let us find the short circuit current. So to find that current let us short these two terminals A and B. So now there are three loops and let's say the current in these three loops are I1, I2 and I3 respectively. So now here this voltage Vx is equal to 2 times I2 minus I3 and this current I2 is equal to 2 ampere. That means this voltage Vx is equal to 2 times 2 minus I3 that is 4 minus 2 times I3. Now here if you observe then between this first and the third mesh there is a dependent current source. That means this entire mesh will act as a super mesh. And here we can say that current I3 minus I1 is equal to 3 times Vx. That is equal to 3 times 4 minus 2I3. That means I3 minus I1 is equal to 12 minus 6 times I3. Or we can say that this I1 minus 7I3 plus 12 is equal to 0. And let's say this is the equation number 1. Now in this super mesh, if we apply the KVL equation in this outer mesh, then we can write this 20 times I3 minus Vx plus 15 times I1 minus I2 
plus phi times i1 that is equal to 0. That means 20 times i3 minus 4 minus 2 i3 plus 15 i1 minus 15 i2 plus phi i1 is equal to 0. And this i2 is equal to 2 ampere. So if we rearrange this expression, then we can write 20 i1 plus 22 times i3 minus 34 is equal to 0. And let's say this is the equation number 2. So in this way, we got these two expressions. And if we solve these two expressions, then we will get the value of i1 as minus 0.16 ampere, while the value of i3 is 1.69 ampere. And here, this short circuit current is equal to i3, that is equal to 1.69 ampere. So in this way, the Thevenin subcurrent voltage is equal to 274 volt, while this short circuit current is equal to 1.69 ampere. That means the Norton sequent resistance across this two terminal A and B is equal to Bth divided by Isc. That is equal to 274 volt divided by 1.69 ampere, which is roughly equal to 162 ohm. So from this we can say that the Norton sequent resistance, which is seen across this two terminal A and B, is equal to 162 ohm.